the f*** is a transitive nightfall of diamonds? You know, this, this high ass hippie shit is getting on my nerves. You know what? You know what? I think, I think I need to hit some DMT to understand this. Okay, so get, give me just a second. <sighs> oh shit. No, I get it. I get it now. It's like a searchlight casting for faults and clouds of delusion. You know what I'm saying? Or at least that's what the, the elves told me. Anyway, let's learn Dark Star. What's going on, deadheads? Welcome to another episode of Play Dead. I'm Davey, the dude who teaches you all these Grateful Dead songs. Always. It's just me here. That's all I, that's all I do, is live in this little box, either your phone or your computer, and uh, I teach you songs and stuff. So yeah, please, if you're new here, hit the subscribe and the bell icon so you get notified when we drop all of our all of our fun goodies and uh, and things of that nature. Okay. Anyways, we're learning Dark Star today, y'all. This has been greatly requested and uh, highly sought after, and you're getting it. Okay. Uh, it's a pretty easy song. There's only like there's only three there's only three sections to it, and they repeat. Uh, what's cool about the song, though, so it was written in like 67 by Jerry Garcia and Robert Hunter, but it started out as just a jam. So this is like their first big jam vehicle, like the the first big one that that allowed them to get out there. I assume this started uh, probably at the the acid tests and, and things like that, like the idea of it, because it's very straightforward. The song's only two chords. It's only an A and a G, you know, but the the things that you can do with it, it's like it's it's, it's like acid jazz. If that makes any sense, this is like the epitome of like acid jazz. Like it's 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 weird. It's like psychedelic acid jazz, whatever. Um, but anyways, uh, it, it really didn't take form until Jerry was like, hey, Robert, give me some words for this. And you'll you'll see the song is very loose. It's a it's a very loose song. And a lot of it depends on and leans on how you're able to like jam through it. OK, so it was like um they like and and again like you see here like the the live version so this is probably one of the most famous versions of this song and what's cool is that when they released that like two and a half minute single of dark star if you've ever heard it uh they sold a third of what they they printed which is crazy to me they only sold a third uh, so it wasn't very popular uh, but it's a crazy song. It's awesome. It's definitely steeped in psychedelics and uh, mythology. And it's also like if you if you listen to the words or look at the words closely, it's like it's it's hippy dippy nonsense. But I love it so much. It's so poetic to the to the point where you're like, the fuck is this? And I, I really enjoy it. Uh, this song is great. Um, so you're it breaks down like this. You've got an intro, a verse and something I'm calling a chorus. It's that weird breakdown part, the shall we go? I'm calling that the chorus. Okay, just just for easy. Just 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 for ease's sake. Right? Okay, so let's get into that intro because we we ain't got all day here. Okay? So let's do it. <laughs> What's happening, children? Welcome to the intro. Okay, so what we're going to do is this is what it looks like. It's a I mean, it's an okay little tab. It's not that hard. It's really not that hard. So we're going to listen to it real quick and then we'll break it down, okay? <laughs> too bad and how we're going to break it down is we're going to start here on the ninth fret on the d string okay and then we're going to like we're going to go back we're going to pull off to the eighth fret and then go back up to the ninth fret and then we're going to hit the seventh fret on the d string we're going to slide up to it from that sixth fret got me do that twice Cool. And then we're going to jump down to the fifth and seventh fret on the D string. Right? So. And then you're going to pull off again. And then you're going to go hit the seventh again. So. And then you're going to go 
and hit the seventh fret on the A string. And then you're going to uh, hit the fifth to seventh fret on the A string. So go back to that fifth fret on that D string. Um, and then you're going to hit the seventh fret on the A string again. And then you're going to hit the fifth to seventh fret on the D string in. And then you're going to let that kind of ring out before you hit this next part. So up until that point, we got the... Got me? And then from there, what you're going to do is on the B and E string, you're going to hit the fifth fret. Cool? So. And then what we're going to do is you're going to go to the eighth fret on the B string. Eight to ten, so. And then back to eight. And then you're gonna go to the seventh fret, and then you're gonna hit the ninth fret on the D string, or on the G string, sorry. So. That's what that's gonna sound like. You can do that twice. And then you're going to go into the chord progression or a solo. So if you're doing the Jerry stuff, you'll just kind of go start into the solo here. Because this is where the jam goes. Again, this is a very loose song. It's very loose. So like if you're trying to come at me with this is how this is done, this is how this is done. On this song, you can't do that. You literally can't do that because it is so loosey-goosey. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. So now we're going to go on into the verse. Uh, and with the verse, there's going to be a chord progression and a lead part that goes along with the the words okay so let's uh let's do that Dark star crashes why hello there thank you for joining me in the verse i'm glad you stuck around so this is what it looks like so your chords are super simple it is just an a and a g got me and then this is what your tab looks like for the verse and it's also very simple. So what we're going to do is I'm going to play both of them for you. I'm going to do the chord one and then the, the lead line one, and then we'll break both of them down. Okay? fucking golden this is this is just a golden brown biscuit of a song open it up put some honey butter in there you know what i'm saying it's that good shit so uh so how it's going to start off we're going to do this lead line first so you're what you're going to do is you're going for the dark star you're going to hit a, a third to fifth fret so dark, and then you're going to slide from the second fret to the third fret star Crashes. You're gonna hit three to two on crashes. Crashes. So again, stop crashes. And then from there, you're gonna hit a two to four on the G string. Pour. So two to four for pour. Pouring. Back to two. Pouring. 
and then you're gonna uh, go open G or yeah, open G. So pouring, it's light. Hit it twice. It's light. And then you're gonna hit the second fret again. So uh, pouring, it's light in two. So two open in two. And then you're gonna hit the second fret on the G or the D string. Ashes. So dark star crashes, pouring its light into ashes. Its light into its light into ashes. Its light into ashes. Oh 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 two oh two. Got me. And then that's that's that. And you do that over again. So like the search by casting for faults in clouds of delusion. Got me? You just follow that along and it actually helps you stay in key a little bit because it's a little, again, free form, loosey goosey. Um, so now how you're gonna break that down with the chords is it is just an A and a G. I like to do them up here. And that's how you do that. That's A to G, or you can do it here. So it'll be. Well, dark star crashes. Well, you're pouring its light into ashes. You see how easy that is? And that's it. That's your verses, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the chorus because the chorus is like the thick bitch of the song and it's the weirdest part. And it's also at the end, it just kind of like, bleh. it just kind of bleh at the end. You know what I'm saying? Bleh. That's what it does at the end of this. So um, we'll do that and then we'll get, we'll get back into it. Okay, here we go. Well, hey there. I didn't see you come in. This is the chorus lounge. These are your chorus chords and or tab right here, right? It's pretty simple, but it's it's a little tricky about how you do this with the words, okay? So I'm gonna play through it real quick and then we'll break it down. Shall we go? Okay, see, it's a little bit technical, but still not that bad. Right. So what it is, is at the end of like, so if you did the, uh, for faults in the clouds of delusion, and then you hit this A hard, shall we go, right? And then from there, you're going to hit an A sus four. So that's what that'll sound like. So what you can do is you can either just throw your pinky on. So if you're doing this A here, the second position A, what you'll do is you'll throw your pinky onto that uh, seventh fret on the G string to give it that. So. Shall we go? Got me? So you're just going to hit that real quick. Na, na, na. And A sus four. Or you can do it here. So. Shall we go? where you're just adding that third fret on that B string to it. We've done an A sus four so many times on this channel. I hope you know what it is. Okay, so. Shall we go? And you stop, and then you hit this thing. You and I, well, we can. You can do that there, or you can do it here. But I like to do it this way because I'm usually right there. So I do. And it sounds a little bit more aggressive to me, and I like that sometimes. So what we're going to do is you're going to start. We're basically going to make this A shape right here. So you're going to be uh, middle finger on the seventh fret on the D string, pointer finger 
on the sixth fret on the G string. So, and just hit those two. You don't want to, you don't want to hit, or maybe you can. Sounds sloppy though, so we're not going to do that. We're just going to hit those two strings. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go from that, that A shape. You're going to then move your ring finger to the ninth fret and then put your pointer finger on that seventh fret. Effectively making a B minor shape, you know, and then you're going to keep that shape and move it up another full step to like what would be a C sharp minor, right? And then you're going to work your way back down. So you and I, we can and end back on this B minor shape. And you're going to kind of let that fizzle for a measure, right? You kind of wait until it counts back around to that A again, and then you're going to hit this whole thing again. So it'll be, shall we go? You and I, oh, we can. And then everybody else is doing stuff. So what we're doing there, though, so, uh, trans, so zitiv. So sometimes he'll say trans in the thing. So transitive is the word we're going for. And it's super weird. It's, it's weird to throw that, that word in there because it'll kind of fuck you up with how you're doing this. So the transitive of diamonds. Cool. So what we're going to do, so you're doing it on diamonds. So G on the die. And then do an F sharp minor, so this kind of thing. Muns. And on Muns, you're going to hit an E minor. Okay? Of and again, you're still only hitting those two shapes. So instead of doing the A one, you're going to move that down to a, a G, where you would do the G, right? And then you're going to do what would be an F sharp minor, but you're still only hitting those two those two, the, the D and G strings. Okay, and then you're gonna hit a full e, e minor. So, you know, you can either go into another song and maybe you do something else, but you're gonna bring it all back together with that. And then that's how everything kind of starts back over, okay? So now you effectively know Dark Star. Cool? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up a little loop with that, uh, that G and A and then um, show you how to do a little bit of lead over it and then we'll get out of here, okay? Cool. All right, fam, I've got my loop set up and uh, what I've got going on here, I've just got my, uh, my green screamer on and a little bit of delay, okay? So uh, I'm going to start out with kind of like doing the, the melody line and then I'm just going to break into some badassery. You know what I'm saying? Or what I hope is badassery. It could just be... Dog shit. But, hey, here we go.
So that's what I have for you guys this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys get out there and start jamming this along with your friends. Get out there and make it weird, man. This is loose. This is a loose one. You know what I'm saying? Get out there. Go go drop some L. Go smoke some DMT and play Dark Star. You rascals. Okay? Uh, I've been Davey. Please go check out everything else we do on the channel. We've got a podcast called The Drinking a Joint. Toby does a show called Loose Beats. We have this show, Play Dead. We've got Jerry Rig. We've got several live streams every week. We're, we're doing it up big here on the Toby and Davey channel. Don't be left in the dust. Stay up with us. You know what I'm saying? Please, uh, if, you're, if you're fiscally able to, please go join our Patreon. We have a bunch of other stuff over there, too. We are constantly putting out content. Got me? So, um... Y'all are the best. I can't do this without you. Keep coming back, and I'll keep making them. Okay? Mwah.